Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. This is Lake Haven Chrysalis. This is a prologue um, to a game that's going to be coming out maybe this year? Who knows? Um, but it's done in the kind of Silent Hill, Resident Evil, uh, PlayStation era type of things. Let's get into this. The words he used to explain the case were so usual in my line of work. A woman in her late twenties, last seen a few weeks ago. But this time, something was off. I felt it in my bones. I wouldn't be coming home tonight. Very prophetic? Ooh, nice little camera angle there. I was inverted, Maverick. I was inverted. Seems like you don't really have much in the way of uh, contraptions on your dashboard there, of the car, my friend. And here we, here we begin. At the, uh, am I in control? Oh, wow. Okay, so what I was doing, stupidly, I'm using a controller in this. And what I was doing, I was using the uh, the dual sticks where it is. This is, this is back in the day. Okay, all right. Maybe the, the WAS controls would start working. But, um, yeah, just getting, just getting my bearings. Just getting my bearings. Can I go in the trunk? I cannot. Okay, so apparently I am playing as detective, detective Zeke or Zeke Reynolds, and I'm called to investigate what I assume will be another case to quickly forget. But he finds that his whole fabric of existence will be forever torn. Um, well, let's go. I'm going to have to remember how to use these controls now. Um, yeah, I probably will have to look at certain things. The mailbox is always stuffed with unopened mail. That's the way it works. September 22nd, 1988. All right, so we're in the 80s here. Uh, Dear Eleanor, I'm writing this letter because I don't know what else to do. You didn't respond to any of my phone calls. Are you all right? I heard about what happened between you and James. And while I know it's difficult to cope in these kinds of situations... Locking yourself away is the worst thing you can do, dearie. I should do that in a kind of really old lady voice. Locking yourself away is the worst you can do, dearie. I will drive over to check in on you in person, but my hips still haven't quite recovered from the op. You're always welcome. I can't I can't keep on doing that. Uh, you know that. Your friend, Marianne. Marianne's nice. Okay. Dear Eleanor, there's a few letters here. It's been two weeks since I sent you my letter. I'm really concerned about you. Please give me a sign that you're okay. Your friend, Marianne. And then October 3rd, 1988. Dear Eleanor, I really don't want to do this, but if I don't hear from you soon, I'll have to contact the police. Hmm. So, cornfields, eh? Oh, there's a car here. It looks like it hasn't been driven in a while. The front door is locked. So we'll go around the side, we'll bust in a window. Hmm, of course not. I can hear a voice emanating from inside. That's, that's, well, that's a good thing, right? It's a letter. Nope. James's letter. Dear Eleanor, I can't take it anymore. Last night I could hardly recognize you. You are not the woman I met at college. You are not the woman I fell for. You are not the woman I married. I know you've had a rough few week, months even, but so have I. Right now I have to look after myself because I sense some terrible purpose behind your gaze and I fear for my safety. P 
Please forgive me for leaving you here. With love, James. Wow. Okay. So we're not getting in through the... Uh, can we go around the side here? No, that's a non-option. Uh, through the basement, perhaps. There's a trapdoor to the basement. It's bound by heavy chains. A padlock is securing the chains. So I'm going to have to find a key. Do we have a little burial site here? A bit pet cemetery thing going on? There's a mound of loose dirt. Maybe there's something buried here. Perhaps there is. Detective. See now, is it Zeke? Zek? I'm going to go with Zeke. Oh. Okay, I thought that would have been a... A locked door as well, but hey-ho. Um, oh. It's too dark over there. I can barely see anything. Okay. It's a pitchfork. It's too bulky to carry around. Is it though, Zeke? Is it? I would have thought... You know, I mean, we do have a gun, so... If it comes to melee combat... I don't want to get mud all over my good shoes. You're at a farm, Zeke. You're gonna get dirty. And then we have a little silo tower here. The door won't budge. Just checking out the, the areas, right? Gotta see what we gotta see. Can we? Oh, we can. What is this? Hello? I can't interact with this at all. This probably is a little Easter egg. I, I can't see what that is. It's a little doll figure or someone. Illuminate in a candle, but uh, I don't think I was uh, actually meant to pick that up. So, yeah. Let's see if we can go in the barn. It's a large pile of hay. Yes, another pitchfork. Can we... No, the stable is empty. I wonder where the animals went. Hmm. Ah, but we have a shovel. Looks like it's seen better days. But still, I can dig it. Yep. I got the pun. I will take the shovel. Thank you. Is there anything else? Oh, what was that? It seemed like a little... Oh, it's a needle. Nothing special about it. It was like finding it neat. <laughs> yeah, forget about it. Do you want? <laughs> yeah, of course I will. Although I think there is a bit of a glitch on this system because I mean you're not going to say no, though, are you? In any of these kind of Resident Evil, um, Silent Hill type games, you're always going to say yes. Let's go up. Who knows what we may find? Ooh. I do like the camera angles as well. It's very reminiscent of those um, late 90s Resident Evil type games. But uh, to kind of emulate it, well, I was just about to say, and emulate it in a way that doesn't, I think I'm stuck. <laughs> a few moments later. Okay, we're back. Um, I am not going to go anywhere near the uh, hay from the other side. So just going to be very careful. Zeke, be very careful where you tread, my friend. Um, what have we got here? Ah, it's an old looking book. Yes, I will. Um, hmm, interesting. An old looking book. So, got the needle, got the shovel, which I can bury. Uh, but let's inspect the book, because it looks like there's a, a placeholder. Um, aha. What's this? Dry poppy. Can't actually examine the book itself. Can't read any... Oh, I can. All of the pages are blank. Hmm. Well, Zeke didn't need to throw it down so forcefully. Staying away from you. There's nothing there, so... I'm believing this is all we have to see from... Uh, at the top of the hay attic. Um, but let's just try around here. No, nothing. Yeah, okay. I think we're done in the barn. So we have the shovel now. Can't carry the pitchfork, unfortunately. Hang on. Hang on. Music changed. Music changed. I see you. You ghoul fucks. Okay. Let's just head back. Head back to the house. Where it's going to be safe, I presume. Okay, this was the mound of dirt. Maybe there is. 
Okay, we have to actually use... Okay. Well, that's a shame. But I did retrieve the shovel handle. And a key. Okay. Well, it's a key. Um, coming back... Oh, does this open the... Uh, let's try the key. But I... Where's the key gone? Oh, uh, did I... I did take the key, right? Yes. Jesus. I can't use that here. Okay, so that's, maybe it's for the front door. I did actually see a well that I didn't check out before. Don't know where it's gone now. Where's the well? There it is. An old ladder leading down the well. Descend the ladder. Ooh. Hmm. I mean, I'm going to have to say yes for now, but I do... Uh, I don't like this. A diary entry. February the 7th, 1985. Dear diary, last night I had the most frightening dream. I was lost in a large hall with giant stone columns set upon an ever-expanding marble floor with a chessboard pattern. There were four men standing in front of me, taunting me, laughing at me, and telling me that I won't be the same person afterwards. What did they mean? Three of them had their faces covered with strange tendrils and flowers. The fourth man's face was also obscured, but somehow he felt different to the others. Somehow I felt empathy from him. All I could think about is how I wanted him to just turn around and tell me everything would be okay, but he seemed to be looking for someone else. May 19th, 1985 Dear diary, I'm so tired. The creeps from my dreams refuse to let me sleep. Every time I'm about to drift off, one of them appears, whispering thoughts in my ear that I dare not write down, lest I make these abominable things real. I don't want to tell James what's happening to me. As kind as he is, what man would stay with someone broken as I? I mean, that's... I mean, I think you just had a bit of a sex dream there, love. You know? Nothing wrong with a sex dream. What do we got here? The cavern is blocked by some heavy stone doors. It looks like there's a space to put something in one of the doors. So we're looking for a circular type of, uh, well, these looks like, yeah, they look like um, the David sort of style things going on, but oh, long alleyways. Yeah, I think, I think Eleanor was just having some wild sex fantasies and that's fine. But this is the 80s, so a lot of people were oppressed, so I'm not going to say anything more. M another key. Okay, judging by the bloodstain, it appears to be a sacrificial altar. Hmm. No shit, Sherlock. A large stone plate, uh, plate depicting a chimera is fixed to the wall behind it. A key is resting on the altar. Will I take the key? It's a heavy key. I will. Zombies. No. I gotta say as well, I like Zeke's kind of tweed jacket shit is going on here. I like it. Do we do anything with the altar? No. Okay, we just take the key. And then what do we have here? There is a relief in the wall. It looks like something to be set here. Hmm. And then this will Alakazam open for me. Okay. I'm getting the kind of Alone in the Dark vibes from this so far, like the original Alone in the Dark, not the, the remake or anything like that, the original Alone in the Dark, very Cthulhu-esque uh, tunnels in the basement of a um, manor house, for example, in this thing, cabin in the woods. Okay, so one of these keys has to be for the front door, right? Well, let's try the basement. Oh yeah, I've got a, sorry, my bad, my bad. Um, let's try the small key. Did I try that before? No, can't use that. Uh, let's try the heavy iron key. No. Uh, did I have another key? Oh, let's try lock picking it. Nope. Nope. None of them work. So, got okay. Got to be got to be careful when to push the uh, buttons. And by the way, if the husband is James and she's Eleanor, 
why would the husband be leaving a note on the outside of the house? Just like for a breakup, for a, you know, dear John type letter. Why would you be leaving that outside the house? I don't know. Okay, let's try the small key. No, that's not working. Use the heavy iron key. So we're in. We're finally in. Only... Madam? Lady? I mean, you could be a man, but I'm just seeing from the, the hair. Okay. I'm trusting you're not going to do anything now. You're just sleeping to David Amber, right? You're just sleeping, right? Looks like I was too late. By my estimate, she's been here for over a week. Wow. She appears to have suffered several lacerations. I think she suffered more than that, my friend. Although the ultimate cause of death remains unclear. I should ser search the area for clues. I'll get to the bottom of this. So this is Eleanor, right? Helen the Rigby picks up the rice in the church where her wedding has been. Lives in a dream. Sorry. A nature documentary is playing. Ah. Patterns of the wilds. Puts me at rest. A balm to soothe my soul. Was she planning on moving? Was she indeed? Okay, we've got a little table over here. What's going on? The table is set. Okay. So she's been dead for a couple of weeks. Oh, hello. Some kind of slimy old meat. I don't recognize its source. Um, I mean, it looks like a rack of li ribs to me, but maybe I should take it as evidence. Zeke, do you think? Should I take the rotten flesh? Yes. I don't know how rotten flesh is going to... Let's, let's check the kitchen. Always check the kitchen. I'm not hungry. I'm not going to come into a house and see the woman that I've been investigating, found out she's dead, and then steal her... Fucking yogurt, am I, Zeke? Come on. Looks like a diary entry. September 21st, 1985. Dear diary, I told James everything today. I wasn't able to keep it secret anymore. I can't even remember the last time I slept. Over the last few weeks, he has shown much concern for me. He says I'm looking pale and that I have not been acting myself. I've tried to get him to understand the glimpses of truth that I have witnessed, but he just looks at me like I'm crazy. He even asked if I was on drugs. He doesn't know me at all. I have to sleep, but how many more times will I be safe to enter my dreams until they finally get me? January the 5th, 1986. Dear diary, I'm feeling much better since the doctor prescribed me the antipsychotic medication. He says I'm not psychotic. He just gave me, he just gave me them off label for sleeping. When I take them, I am knocked unconscious within an hour and I evade the dreams entirely. It's so relieving to wake up in the morning. Even if my limbs feel as though they've weighed down by sandbags, I can live again. Hmm. Okay. Oh, and another key. How many keys have I got now? Yes, I will take the key because it's going to open something for me. Poor Eleanor. Um, okay, so she's been having these kind of wild, crazy dreams. Can we open it with one of these keys? Let's try the small key. Nope. Nope. I've got like seven keys. Nope. Not the needle either. Okay, so there's yet another key to actually find. Okay. All right, Zeke. Try the door. Let's move on. Grandfather clock. Ah. Yes, without any um, hands, which I will... However, the grandfather clock does look very similar to the um, reliefs down in the main door that I have to find. So maybe when I find the hands... Hmm. So the only way to go is up now. Oh, it's very dark. 
Got my gun out. Just in case. Just in case. You never know. Um, okay. What a cozy place to sit down and read a thrilling book. Yeah. If you're... Hang on. The light bulb is missing. It's so dark in here I can barely see anything. Okay. Um, it's very nice. Oh, poppies. It's a painting of a valley of poppies. Maybe this has something to do with the poppy I found. Maybe it does, Zeke. Aha! There's a small button on the frame. Haha. -ha. Yes, I will. There's a secret compartment behind the painting. All those years of blindly poking at buttons are finally paying off? Does that mean his keyboard? Is he is he a bit of a detective that sits behind his desk? And another key! Wow! How many keys are in this game? It feels good in my hands. Okay, will you take the eye? Yeah! I mean, one of these keys has to open something, right? We've got other paintings here as well, but that was the one that stood out. Um, I kind of question Zeke's motives for coming to this random uh, cottage late at night. Uh, let's see what we've got here. The door is locked. There's a crescent moon engraved on the doorknob. Very Resident Evil. Okay. Uh, what about this door? Oh. The doorknob is missing. There's no way to enter. And I... If you can hear it, there's like a slithering sound. Something... Something moist. Something slithery. Yeah, I don't think I want to go in this door. Let's try the other door. Oh, we can just go in here, right? Oh, this is the toilet. Okay, good times. Jesus. Washing machine still washing in there. God, Eleanor. Sort your life out, love. I don't want to leave anything behind incriminating. Oh, like a like a big turd? Oh, but you've got like an Andy Dufresne Shawshank Redemption hole in the wall here. There are some boards nailed to the wall. And I thought I was bad at DIY. I can see something shining there. Yet another key. Wow. Although I will give you props for having the, the reflection of the character in the in the uh, in the in the mirror. So that's good. This bathroom hasn't been cleaned for a long time. I don't want to even look in there. What kind of pubes will we see? So we didn't get anything from here. We know there's a hole in the wall. Andy Dufresne has left the building. Uh, we need like a, a hammer, I guess, to um, take the boards off. Uh, but there's something over here. It looks like a diary entry. February 4th, 1987. So we've jumped ahead. Okay. There's something else in the house besides me. I thought that James had come home early from visit visiting his sisters in Lake Haven, but there's no sign of his car, so it can't be him. I keep hearing an unsettling sound coming from the attic. It sounds like a mixture of whispering and slithering. That's what I said before. I finally mustered the courage to investigate the attic. To my surprise, there wasn't a single living soul in sight. But my eyes must have betrayed me, as I could still hear this incessant whispering as if it's been spoken through my bones. Hmm. Okay. Well, we did pick up another key, didn't we? So... Oh, that camera angle. I do like it. Usually with these kind of PlayStation 1 games, because they, they're, they're so sort of old school and outdated now, it does take something extra to give you that... Eleanor, you okay? You keeping a jar by the door? Who's it for? All right. Um, there's probably a lot of doors now that I haven't. I don't even know. Is that no? That was a window. So I've got to have one of these doors for the for the basement now, right? That was the what? Yeah. Okay. Um, this one, the iron key. Yes. Oh, it's not the basement. It's just a... It seems to be a makeshift shrine of sorts. Only one of the verses is still legible. Yes. Mark 111. At the time Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan, just as Jesus was coming out of the water, he saw heaven being torn open and the spirit descending on him like a dove and a voice came from heaven. You are my son whom I love. With you, I am well pleased. Is that it? I'm well pleased? Oh, also, it's a heavy stone plate embossed with a depiction of an archer. Will you take the archer plate? Yes. There doesn't appear to be an inventory system, so unlike Resident Evil... Oh, and there's a lot of cans. Some doomsday prepper at work here. 
Uh, but I think I know where that goes. Uh, that goes underground, so I'm going to have to go underground again in the well, aren't I? Um, to place that. Uh, just, let me just, uh, let me just, so, right. Rotten meat, I have no idea what I'm doing with that. Um, the handle, which will be, can I, actually, hang on, I can combine items. What would that be used with? A dried poppy. I want to inspect this. Is he saying, a dried poppy, it was used as a bookmark. That's it, I could think of something better to use as a, right, but I don't want to right now. Okay. Some some herbs, perhaps. Okay, the only thing I can think of at the moment is to go back down in the well and place the archer sigil. Oh, I don't like the music, though. Oh, I went out the wrong way. No, I did come out the right way. Sorry, I thought there was a different way there. Um, so someone obviously is here because the candles are lit, right? If she's been dead for a couple of weeks, then who lit the candles? I'm thinking there's someone else at play here. Apart from the uh, music that happened in the um, in the in the cornfields, I haven't experienced any kind of enemy yet, which is slightly setting me on edge. So that did work. Okay, cool. It fits in the relief. What a relief. Oh, Zeke. And yeah, some cultists kind of set the walls just to kind of come down. What have we got here? A light bulb. So this is for the, um, the light in the room upstairs. So now I'm thinking I've activated the zombies to come out after me or something along those lines. I don't know. I don't know. So far, I'll be honest with you, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying this game. Um, oh, maybe, hang on. Is one of these keys now that I've got, the iron key, that's still there, right? No, can't use that. I know I've, oh, the rusty key. Okay. I thought I already used the Rusky... There's so many keys in this game! I lost count of how many keys that I had. Perhaps I didn't. What? If anything's gonna happen, it's gonna happen in the basement. FBI! Agent Fox Mulder. It's 1980, 1998. Is it 99? I don't know what time it is, actually. Her messages were from... Ooh. Toolbox? It's locked. Oh, god damn it. It's got to be the small key, right? Yes. What do I get? Ooh, a crowbar. Um, hmm. Holding this makes me want to grow a goatee. Oh, wow. I didn't get the... Because I was thinking Fox Mulder. I was thinking X-Files. I didn't even get the Half-Life reference. Will you take the crowbar? Yes, I will. Um, do I have to... Oh, let's see what I'm going to have to... Oh, we've got a big door here. There's a heavy metal door. It has a keyhole. Underneath the keyhole is another tiny hole. Hmm. Do I, ha do I have the key for this? Um... Heavy iron. Oh, it did say a little tiny key. Hang on. Oh, use the needle. This doesn't look like I'm in the, um, hang on. This doesn't look like I'm underground anymore. This looks like a hallway. The clock stopped at 23.59. Where am I? Um... Where am I? Hang on. Hang on. Zeke. This looks like a particular demo from... This looks like PT. The dresser is very dirty. Someone picked up the phone but never hung up. Eerie. Is this... 
This is PT. <laughs> oh, wow. This is great. Okay. This is the hallway of PT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In here is going to be a little baby fetus. Door is locked. Do I have a key? Can I use my ordinary needle again? No. Hang on. One of these keys must work. Come on. Are you kidding me? I've got so many keys here. Okay. Yeah. If you can decipher that, then leave a comment below because I have no idea what that was. Um, but this is definitely PT. So this is very Silent Hill inspired. The door is broken. Okay. I think I think this is just like a nice little uh, reference, right? But maybe... Oh! By me doing the radio? Oh! <laughs> if I... This is, <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is the toilet in the Silent Hill 2, isn't it? Uh, where James Sunderland is looking in the mirror. Is this really happening? I feel like I know this place. Yeah, like a distant memory. <laughs> oh, wow. I got, I, you know what? I got to give props. I got to give props to you. That was, um, yeah, that was really nice. <laughs> I feel it calling to me like a distant memory. Yeah, really nice. Really nice little... Uh, little easter egg there i appreciate that and <laughs> and we're in silent hill nice so let's see how much of i uh can i uh investigate oh oh wow oh yeah even the camera angles very nicely done can i oh no, invisible wall unfortunately you got the car here yeah the trunk is shut. I can sense some weird smell coming out of it. What is in there? Um, my memory fails me on this now, but who owns this car? Is someone nearby? I can't remember if this was James. Was it James's car? I forget. Or was it just a random car? Can I go this way as well? No, I can't. Let's check out the bin. You never know. No, nothing. Okay, so I think this was just like a little... Um, hey... Recreated this because the needle itself I found it originally Totally, I think possibly by accident then I picked up the shovel and I hit a weird sound So I thought there was something else in there and it gave me the needle and now there's a small hole in the door. Yeah um, So now I'm thinking oh Never know you never know you've got to be on your guard you've got to check those corners It's like a pwn side. No the door is broken um, Okay Let's go to the window, perhaps. Can I... No, I don't... Oh, went back on myself. Tank controls, you know, camera angles can be a little iffy sometimes. So, yeah, okay. I think we have to go back and then... Um... Okay. We've got the crowbar, though. Um... What would the crowbar do? What would the crowbar do? Um... Let me just see. Oh, light bulb. Yeah, right, right. So we've got to turn on the light upstairs. I'm feeling this is more puzzle game-esque than it is actually... Um, uh, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, if I was actually a real police FBI guy, I literally probably would call in for backup now upon seeing a dead body. But I'm not that familiar with um, US procedural laws. But let's put the light bulb in here first. And I keep on forgetting that you have to use the inventory. It doesn't give you the option. Use the light bulb. Okay, the lamp is switched on. So now I'm going to turn around. There's going to be a big monster behind me, isn't there? Hoo! No. Oh, but we do have a hatch to the ceiling. Yes. 
Although Eleanor was afraid of the slithering things up there. Oh. The pull cord snapped. Either I'm stronger than I thought, or this is a pretty flimsy pull cord. Um, I'll go with the former. I think Zeke's a little... He's a hunk of a man. Look at him. Look at him there, yeah. Uh, so now I'm going to need something to open that with. Uh, what else? What else did I have? Could I go in here? No, that's the missing doorknob. What was in here? Did I go in here? Uh, I do not have that yet, so let's try... Oh! The, um, yeah, 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 yeah. The crowbar's gonna be used here for the Andy Dufresne. Um, yes. I gotta keep on, I gotta stop doing that. Here we go. And now I have another key. It's the Crescent Moon key, so I can get into the door opposite. Okay. I get you. Yes. Because I need to progress the story. And I have... I have like a whole chain... I'm like a 90s emo Fred Durst wannabe emo kid now with all my keys on my keychain. So many keys. Okay. Damn, I look tired. Maybe I should take a break. Am I resting in here? What's going on? I don't like the, the plinky plonky music. There are no clothes in the wardrobe. Was she planning to leave? But we do have a hook and we can use that for the attic. Yes, it could. It's an old hook. Yes, I what I know it's gonna be used for, it's gonna be used for opening up the attic door where we're gonna see some slimy monster, probably. Okay, there's going to be some wording here. Oh, no, just a steaming cup of coffee. The rich taste of coffee always helps me relax. Save progress. Oh, this is a save room. Okay, so instead of a typewriter, you get a cup of coffee. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Oh, does that mean I have a little, little battle coming up soon? There are some diary pages lying on the drawer. April 7th, 1987. We're in the future now. James came back from his business trip today. Something seems off with him, but I can't put my finger on it. His eyes, have they always been green? What is he keeping from me? What does that mean? July 9th, 1987. They are real. The three men are real. Why is James lying to me? Telling me that I'm delusional. Last night, one of them was looming over me while we were in bed. I felt his hideous presence within two feet of me, and James still had the nerve to tell me it was all in my head. Probably sleep paralysis, he said. I don't want this to start all over again. Okay, so it sounds like Eleanor was having these really bad, nightmarish, vivid oh, dreams. Um, she got put on some medication, they stopped, but then they came back again. There's a page from a book here. The people of the village looked on in terror as the beast's hideous visage crested the mound of rocks to the east. A wretched screech was enough to make all the king's men take flight, all bar one that is. The valiant archer drew his bow in defiance and unleashed a devastating bolt of iron and oak that ripped through the chimera's heart with absolute divine authority. Uh, well we had the, okay, loose page, eh? Oh, there's something here. The painting depicts the baptiz uh, baptism of Jesus by John. Someone painted some numbers over it. So I'm going to write these down because my dumb, dumb brain is going to forget. 60, 40, 15. Okay. Okay. Do the other pictures. It's a painting of a landscape at sunset. Neat. It's a painting of an eagle flying over a creek. Nice. So we've saved our game progress. Um, what did we pick up there? Oh yeah, the hook for the uh, the attic now. So we can... But we just have saved our game, which makes me think something in the attic is going to be a game over. Hmm. Let's use the hook. Yes. 
Oh. Do I need a, um, hang on. Ah, uh, I can combine things, of course. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, it's got to be the shovel handle, right? There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once again, another very dark place. Me no likey the dark places. Um, oh, it's Moontastic. A diary entry. It looks like it was hastily written. February the 10th. The voices are getting louder, and the way they rattle my bones becomes more and more unbearable by the day. I told James to follow me to the attic, but he said that he couldn't hear anything. He must be deaf not to hear such a cacophony. Either that, or he's lying to me. Hmm. Hmm. I have suspicions of what's going on. She had uh, these these nightmarish visions of like three men, right? And one of them was like the most empathetic one. So James has somehow been lured into this. Uh, it's an old safe. Looks pretty solid, despite its age. Turn the dial. Yes. And this is going to be the 604015, right? So, no. Wow, you have to really go. 60. No. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Wow. That was the... Our most arduous lock safe in the world. But hey, we managed it. As the creature writhed and squirmed in a pool of its own blood, the archer raised both of his hands directly above him and exclaimed, This is thy time, foul beast. Thy flesh thou shalt forfeit for the breadth of your sins. It was midnight when the final blow fell upon the beast. Its flesh was placed on an altar, and only then was the Chimera's limp body set in its final resting place. Um, okay. So, we now have... Oh, and we have the plate as well for the Chimera, the Chimera plate. So, oh, I will. After that, that was, uh, that was rough. I hate locks in... I hate safe locks in games in general. Because you never know... Oh, is that the way down? Okay, I just want to check out if there's anything else here. You never know whether you, you have to set the dial. So when it goes like... It's like 15 across. 15 left. or uh, And it basically became... Uh, you know, the whole thing was... The re left, right, and left was the depictions of the figures. On the, on the picture that I saw there. But hey-ho! We're there now. We're good. Yes. Just going to have a quick look at... So I've still got that key... Um, but we've got the plate, the rotting flesh, um, I think is going to be, can we examine this actually? No description. Okay. Uh, we may have to put that in the altar, I think, perhaps. Um, let's go back down to the well. Um, I don't think there's anything else upstairs at the moment. How you doing, Eleanor? You good? You just rest easy. You rest easy and you watch some David Attenborough. Wild Planet. We're going to go, you know, try and solve this cultist like. Whoa! Sorry, I thought I saw something on the ceiling there. It was just the lens flare reflection. Okay. Last time you gave us a weird light bulb. Like, who would put a light bulb in behind a wall? But. Let's see what happens here now. Um, let's see. Hmm. Wow. I put it in, but nothing happened. We've all been there. Zeke. All right, I've got to put the... Um, flesh down. Let's try this. Yeah, that'll do it for you. 
Why is it making a squelching sound? Oh, okay. Wasn't expecting that, to be honest. Ah. Clock hands. Yes. Because the clock had no hands. And I'm sure there was a time or something. So if I put this in now... Oh, God, yes, okay. Aha, so I had to do that. Okay, I get it. Oh, nothing happened. Hmm. Do I have to... Oh, God. Do I have to set the time and then come back? Let me read the... Let me read the thing again. Can I read... The, what do you mean, let's see? As the creature writhed and squirmed in a pool with its own blood, the archer raised both of his hands directly above him and exclaimed, This is thy time, foul beast. Thy flesh shall reforfeit the breath of your sins. It was midnight... Right, when the final blow fell upon the beast. Oh, shit. I should have done the clock hands first and then put the thing in, right? No, that's what I have to do. Okay, 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 okay. I thought I'd, I thought I'd fucked up. It just means that I have to go away and then come back. Which seems a bit of legwork, I will be honest. This game so far has been very good with its terms of like, you know, there are certain spaces. I like the facts. Some people would probably argue that you need an inventory system because Zeke just seems to be able to carry everything on his own. That's fine. But, um... Right, so if I put the clock hands in now, yes, thank you very much. Hang on. The Dave and Attenborough show has started to go a bit demonic. You can hear in the background. Oh, I see. I have to do it myself. I thought it would do it automatically. So 12 o'clock. There we go. <sighs> right, now if I go back down to the well, Jesus. If I get another light bulb, so I need something significant under this second wall that you've put in the uh, thing here. I'm hoping this is the case. I may have missed something else, so <laughs> I apologize. I will skip forward if that is the case. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm liking the atmosphere of this. I'm liking uh, the puzzle elements. Very reminiscent of like very Silent Hill stuff. Very si reminiscent of uh, Resident Evil. Um, even this puzzle itself. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it was the it was the clock all along, and then the wall behind the wall gives me what is that? What is that? I can't see from here. Oh, it's a doorknob. Somewhere out there, there's a doorknob missing. This kind of sad if you think about it. Yes. So this is from the upstairs room, and it is sad when you think about it. Um, it's one sole purpose. It's one whole creativity in life is to serve a door and with a door without a doorknob is just a sad sad thing um yeah no I, I really do appreciate the um design that's gone into this in terms of the puzzle elements they're not too obtuse they're not too far away from each other where you don't Eleanor Eleanor where have you gone? Eleanor Rigby Got up in the night When she felt she was a bit of a fright Tell me your name Come on Ah, shit Okay, alright Alright, it's fine we'll, we'll put the doorknob on Hang on Why is it Oh, what the fuck Eleanor Stay back. Stay back, Eleanor. Oh, Eleanor. Oh! I thought I could run away. Um. 
Wearing the face that she keeps in a jar by the door. Who is it for? Oh, Eleanor Rigby. Eleanor, what happened? Are you a zombie? You Zambimo? What happened? I mean, I did shoot you like several times, so, you know, you must be a zombie, right? Oh no, this is going to be the, the last note to James, isn't it? Oh god. Yeah. October 1987. Dear James, I found out that you're living in your sister's house now. I'm so sorry for what I did to you. I never wanted to hurt you with the things I said. None of them were true. I love you. Please come back. I miss being here with you. Eleanor. Father Mackenzie writing the words of a sermon that no one will hear. No one comes near. Oh, Eleanor. Eleanor, Eleanor, Eleanor. So I, yeah, yeah, I feel like this door, this room is going to be the, there's blood on the walls, I don't like it, okay, not as bad as I thought, what is this, what happened here, this room is damp and mouldy, I'm already starting to feel dizzy, I shouldn't stay for too long, uh oh, okay, is this a time limit thing, what we got here, diary entry, I knew it, James is one of them, why is he doing this to me? The only thing I can feel is hatred. Every time he touches me, my skin crawls. I can't bear him being here. I told him to leave. December 16th. James came back home, but this time something about him seems even more off than last time. I don't have any options left. The next passage is unreadable. It was crossed out several times after it was written down. I dug a hole in the garden. I hope it's big enough. For a key? Because that was what we found in, the, in there, right? It was a key. The window is broken. Still feels like there's not even a bit of fresh air here. I shouldn't stay for too long. Okay, I get it. Oh! And that is the tablet for the insignia of an angel carved into it. Yes. Because that seems to be the big bad door. Can I... Bullets don't seem to be an option, so I'm just going to try and... The creeping moss, the creeping... Uh vines that are coming through. Is that what happened here? Did Eleanor succumb to some kind of spore-like creep show Stephen King thing where you touch a bit of moss and it grows on you? Maybe, perhaps. Uh, right, I just want to check. So we've got... Can I... Hang on. What was the other page here? No, I didn't want to, I want to inspect it. I'm not actually sure. <clears throat> I'm not actually sure what that lo that loose page did in terms of the clues, but I mean, I've got the I've got the um, big stone thing for the big door downstairs. I think I've I seem to have a lot of items that I haven't reused, or but let's try it anyway. Let's just see what happens. We're down back in the. Uh, the old uh, alone in the dark tunnels. Yes, so I will use the angel insignia. Well, that was a very nice prophetic kind of sound so that sounds good right i mean i'm in the i'm in the good place now no no i'm in the hell i'm in the hellscape oh that's nice i like a spiral staircase give me a little bit of a workout why don't you come on yeah i like it okay hmm what could be down here 
Balthazar, perhaps? Oh no, don't like this. Who created these tunnels? Oh god, now, what's this? Now we're in a mansion hall? What the fuck? Okay. He is on his way to the east. She was alone, a prisoner of her rotting hollow flesh and bones, and for a long time she didn't feel anything, until the inner circle reached out its hand to her. I'm Lewis? And suddenly she understood. She was dead, yet she lived. She went into a state of chrysalis. She did well. I'm so proud of her. He talks to a Sam? Just a coincidence. Dying is living. Look at her. She looks like Eleanor. That's impossible. I know you're some Cthulhu-like beast god. Oh, okay. I was about to shoot you, but... No fear. Um, that's kind of thrown me a bit of a curveball there. Who's Sam? Don't know. Don't know what's really going on here. This is a prologue for a game that's coming up, so I'm assuming this is just filler. Ooh, what is this? Fish hook? Looks like it attaches to something. Will you take the strange iron shape? Well, but do you? Of course I will. Um, well, let's see what it attaches to. Combine it with the hook? No. The Crescent Moon Key? No. The Iron Key? I've got so many keys. There we go. You got the strange iron shape. Hmm. Okay. Can I go through here? I cannot. I mean, Zeke, you just came here for like a missing persons report and you didn't think you'd be getting into all this occult bullshit, but here we are, buddy. Okay, so I have this weird ass David Lynch style key. Um, where do I use this? Oh! Oh! Don't know what this is. Oh! The reeds are coming up from the ground. I think it's time to leave the Well of Despair. Yes. Yes, I think that is correct. Let's go. Let's go, FBI man. I'm not even sure if I work for the FBI, I just think that I'm a detective of some sorts, but the red hue is closing in. Um, I think it's time to leave the well, the well of sorrow. Let's do this. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, uh, right, let me get my bearings a little bit here because I don't particularly know where to use this weird ass key. Um... Oh, yeah, I do. Um, let me just see. I'm one. The thing is, I'm wondering why this hasn't just if if I used it up, why is it not gone now? And I've got these other keys, and I'm sure I probably what, what, the dried poppy. What was that used for? I know the. Okay, let's just let's do this. It's down here, isn't it? That big door thing where it said like there's a massive thing, and then there's a little needle thing, and I use the needle. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. So we're in the basement now. Okay, nothing here. Um, all right. Oh. What is this? I'm looking at myself? Oh, the red hue. The red hue's coming to get me from the well. I guess. I like the fact that I can still 
shoot at it, whatever it is. Now we're going into a bit of a 2001 Space Odyssey kaleidoscope space time continuum journey. Am I the star child? I'm the star child, aren't I? Is that the end of the prologue? Um, well, let's see. No, apparently not. Oh, this is where Eleanor said the chess, uh, the checkered floors. But to me, this is looking very, very much like a very David Lynch Twin Peak style thing. Hmm, the red room. There's a phone here. It's disconnected. Who would I even call? A tailor, perhaps. Uh, okay. So I can go e like, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me just run down here first. Let me just see. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be like a Zelda thing, isn't it? Oh God, was there something I missed? Turn left, then right, then down, then up before you come to the real I'm just going to go, let's try this way. Let's try left. Come on, Zeke. You got this, buddy. I have faith. So, so far, I'm really liking the story. And this is just a prologue uh, to the main game. Um, really enjoying it, actually. The storyline, uh, the notes left behind, Eleanor's kind of like, Obvious sort of depths to where she went. Whether it be like sleep paralysis, um, she's seen like three men. Oh, the phone is ringing now. James, the husband who may have had some dealings with this. I don't think we ever really found out about that, did we? Did Was James involved somehow? She did say there were four men. And he was the most empathetic one towards her. The phone is ringing. Yes, I guess. When the moon is bright, hiding under all that might, a subtle whimper barely leaves. His mouth as he struggles to breathe. Will this tell ever end? I mean, that's what I ask myself every morning I wake up. But we've changed scenarios now. There's only one way to go. I'm hoping for a bit of a big boss battle. I will be honest. This this has the kind of setting for a big boss battle. If I knew anything about historical architecture, I could tell you all these. Uh, no. We find ourselves at a table. Feels like a bit of an interview. You've got missing posters. Okay. Oh, do we have like a dead Eleanor here? Her face is shrouded in darkness. And she has a little seashell on her head. I think it's a seashell anyway. Is she judging me? Is this what's going to happen? Oh, that, is that me? In the missing post that she has before her? Am I missing? Eleanor, come on. I know I shot you like several times, but you're coming after me like a zombie person, okay? Self-defense. I thank you for the wine, but this is very Twin Peaks. This is Laura Palmer whispering into... Yeah. Whispering into Dale Cooper's ear. And now he's writing down something that she's whispering to. Okay, now we've turned to snow. Or like Silent Hill. I'm intrigued. I am intrigued.
and now we've cut to the outside. And there you go, welcome to Lake Haven with the old um, very Silent Hill-esque sign. Yeah, or Twin Peaks even. Okay, oh, and that's it, okay, yeah, nice. Um, so, yeah, prologue, I really enjoyed that to be honest with you. Had some homages to Silent Hill with the little, I think that, I, I think that was a bit of a Easter egg, to be honest with you. Um, I could have probably missed the whole needle in the haystack thing, not used it on the door. I don't know. Uh, was very good though, and a lot of nods to Twin Peaks as well. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Um, the story was Zeke. I, I, I tell you what, here's my pros and cons. Um, I think with the whole like PS1 era effects that you do, you do see a lot of games like that now. I think the, the, the graphics could have been upgraded just a little bit, apart from having the kind of um, square headedness of everything. Um, the puzzles, as I said, they didn't have you running around from A to B. To C. They they did in a certain aspect, but it wasn't too much. If you found one puzzle piece, it was literally around the next door. There was only one or two times where I had to go down the well to find, to put the plinth in the whatever it was. That was all good. Um, there was a fair good atmosphere involved uh, when Eleanor wasn't at the sofa anymore. That did literally make that stopped me in my tracks and I was like, oh, where's she gone? Uh, there was only really one battle as such. There was no enemies. So it was more puzzle solving than anything else, which I think uh, looking forward, that might have to be something uh, that was done. Something that I did, this could just be me, but whenever I go to an item, uh, I don't want it, the kind of text repeated again. It's like, if I have an item that I can use on something, i.e. if I have a key for a door, when I push the button, I, I would like it to go like, you have used the key on the door, r rather than having the kind of same text appear again. That could just be me, that's just my thing. Um, yeah, I really enjoy the atmosphere. I wanted to know more about Zeke. I wanted to know more about this character. Um, at the very beginning was very, very straightforward with, I have to find a girl, goes to this house. Like, there should have been more... There were some humor elements to it, like, oh, uh, uh, the needle in the haystack and putting the thing in it. Like, but I wanted to have more of his kind of uh, personality. Uh, that could have been done with the text. That could have been done with, like, you know, why is he putting himself out to do this? Why is he here? I wanted to know more about Zeke. Um, and Eleanor as well. Like, that, that story was actually pretty heart-shattering. She's going through the motions of her husband. She's going through this thing. Um, she's seen these things. His husband's maybe had some kind of influence on this or not. We don't know. I'm hoping that we find out in Lake Haven. Um, I'm definitely going to be looking out for this. Uh, I hope there's a bit more element, Silent Hill element combat style with enemies. Um, we had a brief insight into like maybe this isn't on this worldly plane we had a bit of a twin peaks vibe with the red room i like that um yeah all good well thanks guys i know this video has gone on for a bit long sort of thing so i do apologize but um i hope to see you in the next one thank you bye